In this episode, we preview another couple of stops on one of our tour days, Karas Village and Karas Palace. The popular hit TV series Outlander was filmed throughout the village and inside and outside the palace. Outlander fans will love these two tour stops. Caress is derived from the Scottish Gaelic. Killen Ross translated Holy Point or Promontory. It is a village and former royal burg and parish in Fife, Scotland. Originally, Caruss served as a port city on the Firth of Forth and is believed to have been founded by St. Sir during the 6th century. During the 16th and 17th centuries, the town was a center of the coal mining industry. Caruss's secondary industry was salt panning. There was a considerable export trade by sea, and the prevalence of red roof tiles in Karras and other villages in Fife is thought to be a direct result of collier ships returning to Karras with Dutch roof tiles as ballast. During the 20th century, it was recognized that Kuras contained many unique historical buildings and the National Trust for Scotland has been working on their preservation and restoration since the 1930s. Notable buildings in the burg include Kuras Townhouse, formerly used as a courthouse and prison, the 16th century Kuras Palace, and the remains of the Kuras Abbey founded in 1217. Karras Palace is a late 16th to early 17th century merchant's house in Karras, Fife, Scotland. The palace, or Great Lodging, was constructed between 1597 and 1611 by Sir George Bruce, the Laird of Carnock. Bruce was a successful merchant who had a flourishing trade with other fourth ports, the Low Countries and Sweden. He had interest in coal mining and salt production and is credited with sinking the world's first coal mine to extend under the sea. Although never a royal residence, James VI visited the palace in 1617. The palace is now in the care of the National Trust for Scotland, who have restored a model 17th century garden, complete with raised beds, a covered walkway, and crushed gel paths. The herbs, vegetables, and fruit trees planted in the garden are types that were used in the early 17th century. Many of the materials used in the construction of the palace were obtained during the course of Bruce's foreign trade. Baltic pine, red pan tiles, and Dutch floor tiles and glass were all used. The exterior boasts the use of crow-step gables, including a statue of a veiled woman posing on the gable step. 
The palace features fine interiors with decorative mural and ceiling paintings, 17th century and 18th century furniture, and a fine collection of Stanfordshire and Scottish pottery. Hope to see you in Scotland.